So it's been five months since Panem Games in Chile. We were there back in October and I made a vlog about it, but I didn't quite get the outcome I was hoping for. And so I decided to not look at any of the footage, but now I've come to terms with it. I've accepted what happened and I've learned that that was just part of the journey, even though it wasn't what I wanted. And so here's the story of Pan Am Games. Talk and be like, this is, you know, I'm at Pan Am Games and this is the track. I'm three days out from racing and there's a beautiful, massive gym here. Got everything we need, and so I'm just gonna get a little activation session in.
Step up. Happy birthday! Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. It's our third day here and we're just up bright and early. Getting some breakfast before we go to the track. We are doing our second session on the track. We got pancakes and eggs for breakfast with some honey. And of course, some waffles. So racing kicks off in a few days and I have mixed emotions about it. I'm nervous, excited, but I'm super happy to be here. My parents are here, so it's really special to have them here coming to watch. They flew across the world to come see me. So I'm really looking forward to racing in a few days. It does feel like a lot different with like the atmosphere being so different from like a World Cup, but but yeah, I'm just really excited. 28 today. Thank you, Team Canada. It's my birthday today, and we just got a little bit of breakfast. Birthday girl in the village. And it's the rest day today, so I get to spend my birthday relaxing, hanging out with Nick. Hanging out in the village. Maybe make some content. But what a better way to spend my birthday than at Pan Am Games. That's and it was Nick's birthday yesterday. It was. Birthday twins. This is the transportation zone. All the buses. This is how we get to the track. It's a little bit of a walk from the village. We're on our way to our last track session. And this person looks like they want to get a photo maybe? Or yeah, please. Oh, cute. A little selfie action. Hola, buenas. So we have our last activation session before racing team sprint tomorrow. Pretty high expectations of myself and just hoping that I can execute when it matters because it'd be really great to be standing on that podium tomorrow night. Um, I got a Mexico pin. Yes. Pretty. New pin alert. It's starting to feel real. Everything is getting all set up. All the pits are set up. Go time. It's a little bit chilly in here today, so brought the leg warmers. Best day 
warm on the track, you know? Let's get the session done. tomorrow and that's Avery's reaction <laughs> but Ryan how do you feel about racing starting tomorrow are you excited are we racing tomorrow fuck um I love racing so it's gonna be great I'm gonna set some fast times and win everything World Championship. So here we go. Bronze medal race. Canada versus Colombia. The bronze at stake here at the 2023 Pan American Games. Uh, now let's watch the clock. Who gets the best of the starts? It is Colombia. We've seen in the men's race. It's all coming down to leg number three. Very, very tight. Just three tenths of a second in it as we're on to the uh, second riders right now. Sarah Orban for Canada. Experienced rider. Let's get a sale for Colombia. But now the green light in favor of Canada. It's over to the final leg. Riding for Canada, Jacqueline Boyle, the 26 year old from Ontario. Can she see Canada through and to a bronze medal? It looks like it's going to go the way of Canada here. It does. They take the bronze by just over three tenths of a second. medal so we're just super happy to be on the podium and today is a rest day so I'm gonna do a little spin in this massive gym that's in the village super cool so yeah just a little spin for the legs get them primed for tomorrow individual sprint 200 meter qualification is in the morning really hoping that everything goes good tomorrow legs are feeling really good I'm feeling like I'm on pretty good form here and I went pretty fast in the team sprint. I just need to trust the process. It'd be really cool to get on the podium for a second time here at the games. So let's get ready to go.
different day. What's gonna happen this morning? Qualifying. And are you go fastest? Try and get the Pan Am Games record in the 200. <laughs> Atmosphere here, it was cool. And I thought things were gonna go a lot better than they did. So much to say. This week wasn't what I'd hoped it to be, but I'm trying to find the positives and trying to remember that this is part of the journey and that there's more to come. I know that I'll look back on this one day and know that this was a super special thing to be part of and right now it just doesn't feel the best, but it's all part of it and I'm still super proud to be here. I'm signing up from Chile and I'll see you guys later. Mm -hmm.